Well, indeed, we still are with our elephant, and it is amazing to watch her. She's so clever. She's got herself her very own storage rack. Look how she uses her tusks. See how the branches curled underneath her trunk and over each tusk and that's how she holds her branches as she walks along and then slowly but surely she breaks it off and feeds on it while she's doing it but that's her little storage shelf so as she kind of feeds through she'll then put the next one on the storage shelf and then carries on isn't that amazing you are a very clever girl you know that hello little one you are so caked in mud I don't think you can even see look at the baby's eye you can see it's covered in mud look oh no don't go behind your mother now now it wants a bit of milk rather than trees, but it is mud. his eyes are absolutely covered in mud. He can hardly see what's going on. Here we go. Be careful where you walk. I've seen many an elephant have a bit of dung dropped on their head. Oh, it just got slapped in the face by the tail. <laughs> Mom is giving her kid a smack. There we go. Something like a little tail on the forehead to discipline one's child. Isn't this amazing? And what she's actually doing is she's forcing the baby away because what sh she wants the food and the little one is trying to get to where that food is. Listen. She's saying, no, this is my branch. Off you go. This is like when your child... Hey, careful. The car is here. <laughs> Be careful how far you come back, little one. I'm sorry, it wasn't my fault mom didn't want to give you any of her branch. Yes, hello. So you can see, it's rather close, this little baby, but it's not being aggressive in any way. It's just that mom has pushed it away from its own branch, and so it now is being relegated to come be friends with us, rather. Which is nothing wrong with that. It's quite nice to have an elephant friend with us. And it's now decided to eat something else instead. It's found a little creeper on the side of the road that it's picking up and eating. What are you eating there? I can't see nicely what it is. Some sort of little creeper that is growing there. Hmm. Difficult to say. But isn't this amazing? So cool. To have an elephant this close is one of the most special experiences ever. And so relaxed. You can see mom is not at all phased by the fact that the little one is so close to us. She's just feeding along and is quite happy with her marula branch. And I suppose when you don't get marula branches every day, that's why it's not for kids. It's only for adults. So, sorry, I am getting in the shot every now and then. What are you doing, little one? Is that now going to be your wig? Hmm? Isn't this baby cute? Now, it's not a very small baby, as you can see. It's already got quite long tusks, so it's probably, I would say, already six, seven years old, this little one. Um, so, not a small, small baby, but still got that young at heart nature where it's kind of throwing things around a little bit and trying to be there where mom is and get the food that it wants and throwing things at us and flaring ears. It's very, very typical of this sort of age. That is so cool to have an elephant this close just feeding and in no way responding to what we're doing is such a special thing. Now hopefully mom won't turn around and get upset with the baby being this close, but I don't think she should. She sh normally is quite relaxed and she did have a little look over just now and she was watching us so I think everything will be okay. Shame, little one. You had a tough time there. You got beaten by your mom's tail, pushed away from the food. Angie is saying this interaction between mom and son is fascinating. It is amazing, isn't it? It's amazing how a mother can be so, so good to her youngster and look after her and make sure that this elephant is protected from all the dangers that are out here, be really, really caring, provide all the nutrients, carry it for 22 months as, a, as, a, as an infant or as a sort of fetus, and then to be that sort of stern with it when it comes to a food item that she wants. She's almost like to say, nope, these, this is adult food. This is not for young babies. And it's like when the kids want chocolate at night before bed and mom and dad say no sorry no chocolate for you it's exactly what has just happened it's quite amazing how similar they can be to us at times but there we go the little one's just drifted off a little bit now so 
Josh, are you wondering at what age the baby will learn to use its trunk effectively to be able to actually feed itself and sustain itself? Well, it's normally about two years, so it can be a little bit shorter, it can be a little bit longer, but around two years they really have sort of that grasp of what the trunk does and how to utilize it to actually sustain themselves. Before that, they'll still be heavily reliant on milk, but you'll find sometimes even an elephant of this age, which is six years old, is trying to suckle from its mother. So there's still some sort of residue milk that she's producing, and it's still trying to at least get some of that nutrient-rich milk. The reason why is not because it needs it, it's, it's perfectly able to get the food that it needs from the vegetation, but mom's milk is very nutrient rich and it's much easier to get than having to go and walk around and get it yourself. And so that's why they try and push as long as they can to keep eating and or drinking mom's milk as opposed to actually feeding for themselves. So you will find sometimes older individuals doing it. And if she has another calf in a sort of near future, then you'll find that she will actually start to produce milk and this older one will sometimes try come and steal the milk for that new baby and the mother, mother will get very upset she'll try and chase that older one away and say no this is not for you and try and only feed her younger calf but it does happen that they do feed a little bit older as well